I assume it's in, like, one area. Once you get back to town, you can heal, but... I wonder if you can just leave at this point. I guess you could, but I wonder if there's an effect to that. Okay, let's check out one of the crypts. The funny thing is I could have bypassed this crossroads entirely, I think. Well, those are wolves. All right, that's, that's not so pleasant. Can we get a power blow on them? It's not giving me percentage hit chance here for some reason. Who's next? Well, that didn't work out. I saw just try and take him out from a distance. I actually don't see their HP value. That has got to be deliberate in some way. Interesting. I wonder what you'd have to do to actually see that. Let's see if we can hit him with a fireball. 5 to 15 damage, 2 hex. I would end up hitting everybody with it. This is not ideal. And the percentage chance is pretty weak. So let's not do that. Instead, we could try level 2. Ignatia, there's 79% chance to hit on both. So apparently range is irrelevant with the spells there. Spell effects are quite nice. Surprisingly, like, the spell effects are really good, but the animation quality is pretty weak. Let's, we'll focus on one and just try and chop it down as quickly as we can. Oh, interesting. Let's have a look at the battle log. So was that an ability he used there? Or did it just happen? Oh, oh yeah, he used the, the... It's a skill called Knockdown. Okay, so that's bad news. So something like Body Control would prevent that from happening. We've got plenty of mana, so I think we can just keep throwing spells right now. Just throw level 1s, though. Oh, I fizzled it. Nasty. My main doesn't actually have a lot in terms of spell power at this point. My tank needs to get back on his fucking feet. Try again. It's almost dead, but not quite there yet. I am going to end up using a spell with my main. There we go. That's all my mana gone. So I guess the only way to get it back is go back to town or drink potions. The art style of the game is pretty typical Dark Eyes stuff. Like all of the other Daedalic games, with the exception of their point and click that they did, uh, changes of Saravanimid or whatever, they all kind of look like this. Sort of fairly grim dark look to everything. I don't necessarily want to get him into attack range, but I have a feeling he'll just focus on the tank anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Miss, not so good. Oh, I was able to deal with that quite nicely. So we just beat on the wolf until it dies. Are people really talking about Dragon Age 2's art style? I mean, it was basically Dragon Age 1's art style. This can't be the right tomb. I hope those dogs weren't guarding anything important. Well, that was a giant waste of mana and HP. I did get provisions, though. I don't know what that actually does. We should have a look at that. Let's have a look at the inventory and find out what provisions do. Provision for the rest in the wild. Okay, all vitality points and astral points will be restored when your party rests somewhere out of town. Can I do that here? I can. Okay, right. So, provisions is what limits that. So, my party is now rested. And that used one set of provisions and got me back to full health. Right, that's how it works. But again, what's really stopping me going, just going back to town every single time? Is there anything that's stopping me from doing that? Or is it just a time sink? I wonder if it actually resets the encounters if you don't do that. Crypt lice. I hate crypt lice. I'm not the biggest fan of them myself, sir. So. Alright, let's go since there's a lot of cover in the way. Let's just... I love the fact that you can tilt the camera here. This is actually very, very useful. I'm starting to really get into this, actually. I mean, I love hex-based stuff. And all the turn-based combat. So far, I haven't noticed a huge amount of tactical decision-making going on, which bothers me somewhat, but 
to be fair, it is the start of the game, and these games are really slow burners, so I don't really know what I'd be expecting otherwise. Let's just try and take a shot at him. I also, again, don't know how much HP they have. I wonder if, again, that seems like a very RPG-style way of doing things with pen and paper. Like, you have to actually know something about these guys in order to really have any idea as to what HP they've got. I wonder if Perception does anything like that. But it would be hard for me to tell without going directly to the quest lot, to go to the talents. So look at hidden objects now. So you don't learn about them that way. I wonder what you do learn about them with. Uh, not survival. Streetwise? No. Animal law. Ah, there you go. Look, so that's for beasts. So for humans, I know what their HP is. But I need to learn animal law to have any idea what these guys do. That's cool. I can dig that. All right. We are using the dwarf as a sacrificial lamb here. Because we're going to put a fireball right in the middle of those bastards. It's okay. He can take it. Nobody enchants him on the show. You are useless. <laughs> Never mind. I also don't know... The weird thing about this is I don't really know what the hit chance is because that's also information that's not there anymore. So I'm kind of taking a risk going with power blow. Let's try and pick at the guy at the side. I, could, I can do an Ignatia fireball as well, can I? No, I can't. I don't have that ability. There we go. Give him a level 2. 11 damage. Again, nice particle effects. So, so far, it's a bunch of choices and gearing up mixed with turn-based RPG battles with a big focus on those turn-based battles. I can dig that. Oh, interesting. If you fail, you don't lose the mana. So let's do it again. Let's set the dwarf on fire. There we go. He is being used as a focal point for my spell. Go! Yeah. Oh, I did maximum damage to my dwarf. That sucks. <laughs> Apparently, my dwarf is not as fireproof as I had first assumed. Oh, well. I need to get him- I actually need to get him fireproof gear so I can keep doing that. Gang everyone up on the dwarf and then fireball the dwarf. That will be awesome. My guy's also not much of an archer yet. I need to work on that. I'm playing on easy- uh, I'm playing the stats-wise on easy mode, so they actually, like, did all the stats for me. Because it recommends if you've never played the Dark Eye that you don't mess with the stats to begin with. And I don't honestly blame them. Let's not do the fireball thing again. That seems like a pretty bad idea. But yeah, we clearly need a fireproof dwarf. I think that'll be fantastic. We'll just go with some basic spells. Uses eight. There we go. That one's pretty much toast. Close Good. The blasted holes. Oh, you can do that. You could have told me that earlier. Bloody hell. All right. Who is moving? Oh, that's him. Okay, so I'll just keep him fighting. And then I'll move my main forward. Close the holes. I'm just going to just wait here. You can swap weapon sets in combat, by the way. That is something you can do, but you can't change your equipment. These guys do a lot of damage. I have to be careful. I should probably heal up my main as... Well, actually him. His healing is maybe not so great fastness of... Ah, plus armor. That might be useful. What's his chance of casting that? Plus 10 vitality is not going to get him very far. Plus armor, on the other hand. Ah, it fails. How is one supposed to concentrate around here? Okay, this guy will probably die from this hit. There we go. Okay, so he's taking less damage now. But I do need to be a little bit more careful. So, I can't close that hole off. I could hit him with my most powerful spell and hope that that did the damage. Cold, I have a really low chance of cold shock, so I'm actually quite surprised I've even managed to make it work previously. I'm a bit concerned, actually. I've got a lot of healing, don't get me wrong, but I can't really fight these guys head on. So I guess we just hit him with the biggest spell we've got. Nine damage, I could have certainly hoped for a bit more than that. with the same. Ah, I'm not in range. Bring him in to help. Can't really hit him from here either. Close the blast This is getting wild, actually. I think we're going to end up losing quite soon. No, not wait. Damn. 
Ah, I pressed the space bar thinking, hang on a minute, this is some other turn-based game. Apparently not. Oh, we're going to be fighting more of these bloody things then. I think he's actually bleeding as well. I'm going to back off my main character and use healing spells. I'm burning through my mana though. You can, you really do go through it quite quickly. I mean, that healing is 10 mana points. And it doesn't even guarantee 20 HP by the looks of it. So that's a bit ugly. This mage character has a little bit more in that regard. Could have used an arcane wall to keep them back or something. That would have been pretty neat. Let's go for the full-on firebolt. Seven damage. Not great. Not impressive. And he's about to die. I mean, he's not taking any damage right now because I buffed up his armor value, but I'm not entirely convinced that that's going to keep going on that way. Let's try that again on the weaker character. Ah, oh, misses both. Okay, got a parry and a successful dodge. I need to get somehow. I need to make my way past here so that I can close these holes off. Ah, oh, bollocks! I've done it again. So V, by the way, yeah. As I was, there we go. I can actually close this hole right there. There we go. So V shows you what you need to do there. So I can close this hole, close this hole. I like the fact that each of these battles seems to have a, a different sub-objective. That I very much dig. I'm relying on this guy's armor buff, and I'm not sure it's going to be enough. So the weaker character is this one. Let's try another power blow. Come on, take him out. Oh, smack. There we go. Crypt Louse is incapacitated. Screw you, Crypt Louse. Alright, things are looking uh, a little less grim now. I guess I should close this hole off as well. There we go. I probably sh shouldn't be meleeing him. That seems like a bad idea, all things considered. Can I get past him and close the hole? I can. Does he still have an armor buff? I don't, I don't see any indicator of that. So I don't really know. I don't... Can I, I could send him in there. It's a little dangerous. Although my mage still has decent health. So I guess I can't really complain. All right. He's not in range to close the blasted holes. As much as I would like him to be. Can't move that far. So we could just blow him away. Let's hit him with a fireball. That's fine. You go on... Go and hit the dwarf. The dwarf Close is fine with this. Alright. I think the dwarf can actually make the run and finish the holes up. I wonder if that'll actually end the fight. No. Okay. Alright, so we're just going to deal with three of these guys now. And none of these louse dudes are doing any damage whatsoever to my dwarf. So, not a problem. Is TB drunk or just fight What are you talking about? <laughs> What, so I'm not hugely hyped? Oh, it's a turn-based battle! Holy shit, look at the hexes! <gasps> the hexes! No, come on, really? <laughs> Why would I be shouting about this? Be realistic. To be fair, I've also, like, had three days of lack of sleep and I'm just getting over a cold, so... It's to be expected. Can I do anything remotely useful? Not really. Let's just put him on hold then. And we can fireball him, because why the hell not? I wonder if you can find the right tomb immediately, or whether this is just forcing you through these battles. Can you just look your way into that tomb? Alright, Dwarf is now starting to take a bit of damage. Don't like that. Who's the weakest? Who can we take out? This would be the weakest. Oh, it highlights it when you're high... When you hover over it, I like that. We'll go in front of the power blow then and see if we can do the damage. Smack. Do I have that armor buff on him? Strengthen? No. I do have armor healing though, so let's do that. Stop it! I don't need that! What do you mean you don't need it? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I just healed you! You had 10 HP, what's wrong with you? Ugh, stubborn ass dwarf bastard. Alright. I'm actually out of mana on my mage, so I guess we'll just go and hit him with the sword. There we go. I did the job. And 
just keep on with the power blows. It seems like it's worth the risk of trying to hit with one of those. Seems to hit more often than not. Don't have line of sight here to attack with my bow. So I'm going to move here so I can get a shot in next turn. I'm eh, just getting close. Try and finish him off. Yeah, I mean, you know, battles take a while, but that's to be expected in a game like this. That and the fact that they were constantly respawning kind of did me in a bit. Should be able to get a shot in. I still can't get a shot in. It's rather irritating. I guess we just click him to death now. Why can't I hit him from here? <laughs> Am I actually too close? I have no explanation for that. Have I run out of arrows? Oh, I've run out of arrows, that's why. Well, that explains that. I should probably equip a few more. Hang on a minute. You're telling me I can't equip arrows mid-fight? Are you serious? Oh, come on. That's absurd. I have arrows in my inventory, but because I don't have them in my hand, apparently I can't use them. That's bollocks. That is absolute nonsense. I understand not changing your clothes mid-fight, but arrows? Come off it. That's just dumb. Who's next? Well, that didn't work out, did it? Eventually, the crypt lice will die. I better get a lot of AP for what I just did. Killed a lot of these bastards. Alright, they're all dead. I think. You get the same amount of AP regardless of how many? Ah! That's crap. I guess it's to stop farming, but really. I killed like 20 guys there. Okay. This is her coffin. Yes. But there's nobody in it. Yes, I can see that. Can you smell that? It smells of rum. Why would it smell of rum? There's something here. Some kind of stone. I know that stone. Lysander gave it to the princess. We'd better leave. Interesting. So we can GTFO or we do another crypt fight. I think we'll just GTFO at this point. Yeah, so bear in mind, if you don't have your equipment where well, you evidently do not have your equipment with you. So be bloody careful. Oh, it looks like we ran into a fight on the way out. Unfortunate. They the murderers. They match the description. Murderers? We're no murderers. Anyone who breaks the law in my country is a murderer. Imp. Imp. We don't... We could try bribing them. I am a Florios. My family is wealthy, if you wish. I do not. I'm also a mage. My services are not needed. Go get them. Well, <laughs> worth a try. This is going to get ugly. I don't have much mana left. I do have some potions, but they're... Well, can I actually use them mid-fight? I fucking hope so. Nope. They, I assume, have to be on the belt. Crap. Yeah, that's bad news. So I have very little HP, and I'm going up against all of these guys. I'm probably going to lose here. Don't... Uh, one of them does have a ranged weapon, so let's get in cover. At least I've got arrows, so I can start firing. And do three damage. Yeah, lovely. This is not going to go well. And I put him back here. Oh, that was not in the cover that I hoped it would be. Alright, I think we're going to have to get pretty lucky to pull this off. I think we're going to die. We'll go for a... Power strike is 60%. I think it's worth the risk Die at this point. Smack. Okay. We can finish him off. I have one spell's worth of 
damage I think I can put out here. And that might kill him. Almost. We have more initiative with him. In fact, we all get to act before these guys. So we can finish him off. Or we can engage here. I think we'll engage here directly. The best thing to do is to try and rush them down as quickly as possible. At this range, I should be able to do four damage. No, that didn't work out. Okay, I guess we're hitting him then. That didn't work out either. Uh-oh. Ooh. I think we can just make this work. If we can get another power attack on him. 65% chance. That's him down. We have 13 mana. Let's fireball him. That finishes him off. And then that leaves us with the guy with the bow. Who I need to keep... I need to keep my mage in cover. Because otherwise that guy with the bow is just going to kill him. So I need to take the first bow shot on my tank. That seems to work fine. And now I can get in range. And I'll just do regular combat with him. Lock him down and then finish him off. That should be fine. Well, that, this has gone better than expected up to this point. The dwarf has really carried the team. Let's just keep him in cover. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else I can use in this situation. No. So just keep him in cover where he can't be shot at. Cool. So he's actually not able to take an action. Sick. No. What? No, 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 no. That was dumb. That was really stupid. I thought I had the wrong character selected. It's okay. It should be fine. I'm going to try and finish him off now anyway. 55% chance to hit. Probably shouldn't have taken that. I could shoot him from this direction. Now I can get him back in cover. There we go. Now we can wait there. Alright, so he's just attacking the man. Just... This archer. He's down to 10 HP. Alright, we can finish him off with... No, maybe not. Give him another shot. He should die soon anyway. What? Why can I? This bounty hunter. Jeez. He's not fucking around. We're kind of picking away at him with arrows here because I can't actually hit him in melee. And he almost killed him too. Alright, 80% chance. There we go. Yes! Success! With barely any hit points remaining. And a bunch of stuff. Ooh, look at all this. I got a tri-corner hat. It's probably utterly useless, but I'll take it for style points. I'm beginning to get the impression that I'm not terribly welcome here. We might as well have targets painted on our backs. Better lie low for a while. Across the border, to Mangvilla. Where the poisoners and slave hunters run rampant. A good plan. I agree to accompany and protect you on your journey, provided you first aid me in a, well... Rather personal matter. Alright. What kind of personal matter? Bellarita of Droll, the fairest lady in the world, a baroness actually. We were rudely interrupted before our night was over. In this country, they don't seem to know that a grandee always gets to sleep in. You want us to help you have a tryst with a baroness? A grandee never leaves things unfinished. Certainly not in bed, anyway. And Bella Rita is keeping my staff for me. Whatever. Help me get to Mangbilla and I'll take you to your baroness. Excellent. Help him have a booty call. All right. <laughs> hmm. So you're an Alanfan grandee? Zubaran of the House of Florios. Perhaps you'll follow me to Alan for some day. I'd like to thank you properly for your help. We'll sip wine from polished goblets and hunt down escaped slaves. My family has the best wines and the most handsome slaves, male or female, whichever you prefer. Lol. Why did you leave Alanfa? The war washed me ashore here. The naval battle of Frigaios, to be more exact. Such a shame. We outnumbered you Horatians by 30 ships. A needless war. So we'll find your Baroness in Droll? Yes, the poor girl. She's simply pining for me. <laughs> I like this guy. We should get moving. Wait, every Dragon Slayer team needs a leader. I'm the oldest here. And a dwarf. Old and runty. Even slave traders would reject you. 
Follow me or don't. I'm leaving for Mangbilla right now. There's your leader, dwarf. Gotoshimotomosh. The kapla. <laughs> All right. Cool. So I guess we go back to Nitha at this point. Which I assume will take me back to the town and I will not need to get provisions or whatever. Cool, back to the town. Right, so that's what this is. And in Act 3, apparently, the, the game really opens up and actually gives you this open world to explore and all sorts of things like that. Will I ever enable face cam? No, because face cam is for fucking idiots. Seriously, will you explain the value of face cam in a turn-based combat game? If anyone could successfully do that, then I might consider it. But good luck. Alright. Now we can finally get this dwarf so. a mace. That might be a good idea. Should I flog this? Can I even do that? It's only six, five silver. I don't see why I would. I don't really have a lot of money regardless. But let's look at the inventory. So this, I assume, is better than that significantly. It gives you slightly less initiative, but a bit more attack. It also looks cool. Rule of cool applies. So we can sell the leather shield. Do I have anything else? Should I give him the tricorner hat? Yes! Pirate dwarf! Look at that shit! It probably doesn't even give you any stats, but I don't care. He's now pirate dwarf. Fantastic. Now, can I put potions on the yes right now i see so you can put potions on the belt slot to use in combat i don't believe he actually even has a belt so it seems like getting belts for these guys is pretty important like having a an astral potion for these would be very handy that is one fine fucking hat look at that i love it Okay, let's see what we can so. flog here. Probably not much. It's kind of weird that they only put eight slots in each of these. This could get really awkward later down the line when there's a lot of stuff to flog. So I want enough to get an... Either way, yeah, axes and maces are all in the same. So I could get a cleaver. Or a mace. Mace has... Better everything, actually. Yeah, it's slightly slower, so you get less initiative on this, but... I don't know if I can actually make 15 ducats to do that, so... I guess we're gonna be stuck with what we've got for the time being. What if I sold the sword he's got on him? These are really pricey. Jeez. How much is that sword worth? It's kind of weird that I'm selling... Three gold? Is that it? Ugh. Deflation. Talk to Anything the merchant, else? see if there's any belts available. Shortbow, shortbow, armor. Shabby belts, five gold each, feathered hat. I don't even know if that gives you any benefit. Bear traps! Because why the fuck not? Cool. Yeah, I don't have the cash for it. That, that's a bit galling. Oh, well, do a few more fights, I'll have it. So I've got two provisions right now. I should probably buy some more. Let's buy three more. All right, so this will let me rest outside. Take care. Now, provisions do cost a bit more than staying at the inn. But for some reason, they don't actually have the ability to stay at the inn. So Daniel? let's see what the... Leave it to me. Huh. So wouldn't it make more sense to go out into the wilderness and heal that way? Because you're charging me seven silver for that, and yet provisions are only five. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. Or why you'd want to use that healer if you can just go outside. I wonder if you get ambushed while you're camping or something. Let's camp. Well, that apparently is a cheaper way of doing it than going to the healer. So I don't really know why that would be the case. Oh, it also gets rid of wounds. What do wounds do, though? I don't know what wounds actually do. As you can see here, I've got...